today I am joining you in my pajamas uh, for our read aloud this week. This week we celebrate National Library Week, which usually when we're at school means that we have fun activities and dress up activities all week. You know, we have giveaways and we have fun uh, trivia and other things. And I know it's really hard um, for us to all be at home and know that we won't be returning to school this year, but I want to share with you a read aloud each day this week and um, maybe throw in some other fun activities. So I hope that you enjoy this one today. It's called, I Want an Iguana. And the story is written by Karen Kaufman. And before I begin, again, I wanna thank our publisher, Young Penguins Group, for allowing us to read this story to you today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I don't think I've read you this one in the library. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gillen's baby iguana when he moves, but here is why I should. If I don't take it, he's going to Stinky, and Stinky's dog, Lurch, will feed him. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. And you can see that the book is written in letter form. You can see that it's a letter from the son to his mother, trying to convince her to get the iguana. And here is the mother's reply. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana cage. Nice try though. Love, Mom. And here is his reply. Dear Mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet? And they're cute too. I think they're much cuter than hamsters. Love, your adorable son, Alex. Mom's reply is right on the other side. It says, Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just a thought I'd mention, just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Here's what Alex said. Dear Mom, I would never even have to, you'd never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's even so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. And then the mother's reply. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Alex writes to his mother, Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love, you're smart, and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? <laughs> Love your concerned mother. Would you want marry someone with a reptile bigger than you? Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. 
love, mom. Dear mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What's the fun in that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. And the mother replies, Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? And if you look at the picture, you can see that didn't turn out very well. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lessons. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's just say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, mother. Do you think the mother would actually let you get the iguana? Let's see what Alex says. Dear mom, I would feed him every day. He eats lettuce. And I would make sure he had enough water. And I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Mother replies, Dear Alex, a trial basis means I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can keep him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. Alex's reply, Dear Mom, I really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want a iguana. Please? And there's Alex begging his mother. Sometimes it's hard for moms to say no to their babies when they ask for something. Let's see what Mom does. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. And you can see Alex, he looks so excited as he's going into his room. Do you think that the mother let Alex get the iguana? Here we go. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is the end of the story. I want an iguana. This book is air testable, boys and girls, so I hope that you take advantage. Um, I've been looking at the air report, and I'm super proud that most of our students are taking advantage of testing at home. Um, also remember that today is pajama day, so stay in your pajamas, grab some good books, and uh, snuggle up and read today after you finish your schoolwork. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Remember that today is just day one of National Library Week. Join us again tomorrow for another story. Um, tomorrow's theme is Tech Tuesday, so your duty for tomorrow is to go into the MISD App Store and find a new app, one that you've never used, that looks interesting to you. It could be a game or something that teaches you, but download a new app and explore the app and learn how to use it. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.